This story begins with Bethany Hamilton, a very talented young woman, who at only 13 years old is a lover of the waves of the sea, and one day, something happens that will change her life forever, since the worst happens when least expected. It is there that the tension of all those around him begins to arise, who come to her to save her life, before the shark attacks again. But the waves were so high that getting her out of there was almost impossible, so the teacher opted for the idea of making a tourniquet with her shirt, while her son went out looking for help. No one can understand how such an innocent girl, and a servant of God with a dream ahead of her, could have gone through something as strong as this. She is coming from a family of surfers who have lived in Hawaii, Bethany was no exception to tradition, surfing has been her passion since she was very young, and her main goal has always been to be a professional surfer, but now her tragic accident puts his career at risk. She also belongs to a group of young Christians, led by her friend Sarah. In one of the meetings, she shares a verse from the Bible where she mentions that God's plans for us are for well-being and not for cruelty. These words came to have a great meaning for Bethany, not knowing what she expected after being attacked by that shark. One day, his father goes to the hospital because he has a knee injury, which must be operated, as it is a simple intervention, so he decides to go alone. What he doesn't know is that the accident happened to Bethany on that very day. For this reason, while they were assisting him, a nurse enters, announcing that they need the emergency operating room, since a teenager had had a shark attack. The professor manages to get her out of the sea and does everything possible to keep her conscious, to then put her on the board and take her as soon as possible to his truck, while her mother receives that terrifying news. On the way, the professor goes 200 kilometers, dodging everything in his path. However, Bethany is bleeding to death, but luckily they catch up with the ambulance and they all go to the hospital, where her mother manages to get there first. There the tension spreads even more, since Bethany is not well at all, and her father, despite not knowing what is happening, has the feeling that it is his daughter who is in danger of being lifeless, so when the doctor confirms that the patient coming in is indeed Bethany. For this reason he despairs, and only thinks of going out to see her. But she is already lifeless, and while they are resuscitating her, she sees herself on a surfboard inside the most awaited wave, and at the end of that wave she saw the light. Hours later, Bethany wakes up surrounded by her family, but the first thing she does is try to touch her arm, which is now gone, but she did feel a lot of pain. As expected, she goes into shock, however, her parents also cry, but with joy, seeing that she has already woken up. They don't know how to deal with this new situation, so their father only thinks of quoting a verse from the Bible where he emphasizes that Christ is the one who will strengthen us, since being alive, after having lost 65% of his blood, is a miracle from God. The optimistic young woman tries to cope with the impact with her best attitude, however she asks him, with great concern, the possibility of surfing again. Her friend Alana, despite being very shocked and not wanting to visit her best friend, is convinced by her father to accompany him, so the next day they arrive. To the hospital, where she confesses the fear she felt when she imagined that she would lose her friend forever. Before the accident, Bethany and Alana had been selected to be sponsored thanks to their talent. There they had a great future ahead of them, but now we don't know if the lack of their arm is an impediment for Bethany to participate in the competition and I managed to win. After a few days, she finally goes back home, and she is very anxious for her wound to heal quickly, so that she can surf. When she arrives, she realizes that she is now famous, since her house is surrounded by journalists and people she doesn't even know, so her father acts unexpectedly and manages to evade them, to don't bother her daughter. So upon entering and seeing that the journalists do not leave, they try to prepare dinner, in which Bethany, when cutting the tomato, realizes that she cannot cut it and although they try to help her, 
She is frustrated to see that she cannot even open a bag of bread. So very dejected she leaves and grabs her ukulele only to know that it is no longer heard as before. There, Bethany realizes that this path will not be very easy, and knowing that everything she does she will not be able to do as before, she begins to fear that she will not be able to surf anymore. Despite this, hope arises when her father announces that a prosthesis is being offered by a television program, but he must offer a slightly uncomfortable interview, however, she accepts as long as she has her arm back. The day comes when she sees herself without a bandage for the first time, that affected her too much, however she tries to face it. So one day she gets up with all the desire to move on and uses her feet to make breakfast for her father, with the intention of showing him that she is ready to ride his board. After being scared, her parents give them their support and they go out with her to the beach, but it is not that simple, her father tries to help her but she wants to do it alone. There, she loses her balance and is dragged by the wave, even so he keeps trying again and again, but fails, until his father instructs him to lean to the side, achieving his goal. As she sees that she can, she decides to sign up for the regionals, and let her father teach her, who will teach her everything she needs to go from the biggest board to the smallest, heading to the podium. One day, they arrive with the prosthesis to surprise her, she is very excited to put it on but when she wants to get on her board, she sees that she can't, so she takes it off very frustrated, and runs out of there with tears in her eyes. Her mother goes after her to encourage her and let her know what she is capable of. So she dries her tears and goes out to practice, day after day without any rest until the most awaited day arrives. That of the regionals. The best in town were there for the title, and when Bethany hands over the record, she runs into her rival who makes her believe she's not going to make it. Even so, Bethany manages to do her best tricks in the first stage, but her rival is not far behind, and before finishing Bethany was still going but the waves were even higher causing her to fall off her board. It goes over the falls. More and more waves came wanting to drown Bethany, so everyone yelled for her to stop, even so she wasn't going to give up for anything. But her rival seeks to take the wave away from Bethany, and Alana, seeing that she only does it to annoy, pushes her without caring about the consequences of being disqualified. Meanwhile, Bethany continued to be dragged by the waves, leaving her with a low score. When she left, she complained to Alana because she did not want someone to help her. After that, she is destroyed, to the point of not wanting to continue. How can this be God's plan for me? But one day she decides to go to Thailand, to support the victims of the tsunami, and upon hearing each one of those sad stories, she reconsiders her frustration, and runs home to continue her dreams, but this time she goes with another expectation. So she does everything she can to train and build strength and stamina to win nationals. There she apologizes to her rival, because she never made things easy for her, and that was the important Bethany thing. Appearance... Seconds later she begins the race, overcoming each wave, one better than the other, and although the waves tried to drag Bethany she passed them with skills. Although in the finals it starts to get a little complicated, and her rival achieves a perfect score, she does not give up and waits for the perfect wave. Seeing her far away from her, her rival also sees it and the two face each other behind the wave, making Bethany go underwater to grab her first. She there she did her best maneuver but it wasn't enough, so it was necessary to find another wave, and when she didn't get it she distanced herself from the others. Being so far away, she still didn't see anything, and when she least expected it, the wave of her dreams came. So she manages to reach her before time runs out, staying inside the wave, leaving everyone impressed. Arriving at the shore, everyone runs to hug her and congratulate her, even though they did not count the last wave, since time had run out when she left it, leaving her rival as the winner of the championship. Didn't count. 
totally counted. Bethany was very proud of her, since for her that wave did count, even though she was in fifth place. She there she takes the opportunity to congratulate her rival who did not hesitate to share her trophy. At last Bethany fulfilled her dreams and there was no obstacle that prevented it, with the help of God everything became possible for her and the following year she celebrated the first place on the podium. This is the summary of a movie called Soul Surfer, click here and don't miss the next story.